Have mercy! It's Texas chili. It's five pounds of meat and seven pounds of chili. It's time for Top Jimmy Cooks, the world's greatest chili. Shoveling through the Texas sand. Oh, and I got five pounds of meat. All right, guys, let's start cooking. Let's start going through our ingredients. You guys know when it comes to chili, it all starts with that meat. And look what I got five pounds. One pound of stew meat, and right over here, four pounds of Black Angus Harvest Farms Ground Chuck. That's about 80 20, it might be 85 15, but you guys know great chili starts and ends with the meat. How about some of these other ingredients? Right here, tomato paste, use the whole thing. Yes, I put beans in mine, do you? That's a source of controversy, don't get angry at me, but I don't use the liquid, only what you see in there, I've dumped some of it out. There's my source of liquid, red enchilada sauce, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Simple ingredients, you know I love that frag out flavor, we're going with husky and battle buddy, which is all purpose. How about these spices right here, ancho chili, cumin, and regular mild chili powder. Of course, I'm gonna use way more than that. That's just for an example. There's some fresh garlic cloves and a chopped Vidalia onion. Don't even come near me unless you got a Vidalia. What are we cooking in today? Ninja, never stick, 12 inch pan, incredible. And everything goes in the crock pot, which is already preheating on high. It's gonna take seven full hours. All right, nice people, we are ready to get started. The Ninja never stick pan. Oh, that's hot. Medium high heat, maybe a seven on a scale of uh, one to 10 there. 12 inch pan, and of course, since it's Ninja Never Stick, no butter, no oil in this sucker right here, I'm gonna move it up and down for you. It's looking good. You Ninja guys really gotta get in touch. You know, I love you guys. Are you gonna talk to me or not? Um, look at that. Ooh, a little bit of that hotness going right there. Here comes your first two pounds of meat right here. Oh, gonna move it just like that. Yes, my hands are clean. I'm washing them all the time. And we're going to move this meat around just a little bit. You guys are going to see how the Ninja cookware does work. No butter, no oil. See how the meat already moves around in there just like that? It's absolutely fantastic. We're going to put a sear on this meat just like this. And in comes our first season. So this is going to be our frag out flavor. Husky. I dropped it. Sorry, guys. There it is. Husky. Good stuff. It's a taco type seasoning. I don't overdo it because we're going to have the chili flavoring and seasoning coming in later. But this is just to get it started. Boy, oh, you can already smell it. Very, very nice. Woo, now, nice people. Are you ready? Did you see how that did? Very, very quickly, seared it right off. And I'll show you the example of this Ninja Never Stick. Look how it just slides. When I give it the toss, perfect. No butter, no oil needed. This is seared off, and that's all you want to do. Just remove the pink out of the meat. Remember, it's a pretty high heat. Now we're going to the crock pot. Oh, looking good, looking good. Get back in there. Where are you going? There you go. Hey, last one, got him. Now, what I showed you guys was I rendered it out, cooked it very, very fast. Now it's going in the crock pot, which of course is preheating on high. Drained it out because 85.15, you're going to get some of that grease, but I don't want that in the crock pot. Now, here comes your first layer of chili flavor. That's chili powder. Yes, I just put that much on it. And just a touch of the cumin on top, not much. We're gonna stir that around. Let me show you how I stir it around. Look at that, anyone can do it. And now we're gonna go back with our stew meat and our onions. All right, good people, we are back. Got an empty Ninja Never Stick pan. That, that heat's getting on up there. Now here comes the one and only stew meat. Coming at you, one pound of stew meat. Woo! There it is. And at the same time, your onion's gonna go in with it. So check this out. There you go. Hey, if you want more onion, go for it. That's kind of the minimum that I like. One little trick, a touch of salt and pepper. You, don't, you really don't need a lot because remember, we've got some sodium and some salt in our other ingredients, which have the chili powder. And 
we're good. Woo! Tossing. Tossing and turning. Wasn't that a song in the 60s? Stew me. We're going to cook this down. Just like, oh, doesn't that look great, you guys? Fantastic. All right, look good, people. Look at this. Cooked it out perfectly. Looking really, really good right now. You see how, once again, got the pink out. Cooked it pretty fast. Our onions, us onions, our onions are starting to sweat out. Now, at this point, show you guys a little trick. Here comes your fresh garlic, and I'm going to show you guys something. Right there in the middle. But right on top of it, show you guys a trick. That's avocado oil with it. Mix it. Just a touch. Sam, the cooking guy, taught me this. It sits right there, 45 to 60 seconds. And my goodness, is that going to cook perfectly? That garlic starts to get aromatic. See how it's already turning? Fantastic. Look at that. Oh, all the onions, all the stew meat. I want to show you guys this pan real quick. Look at that. Is there anything in that pan? Of course there's not. It comes right out, folks. Now, do you remember last time? How about a touch more of that chili powder? Now this time, in comes our ancho chili. Remember that? Ancho chili. Right across the top. A different type of a flavor. I call it a deeper flavor. That's what I call it. How about a little more of that cumin? Not much. You don't need it. And we're ready now for our wet ingredients. They're going to go on top of this right after I stir it. Well, what do you say? Ow! Ugh. Wait, no, no, I'm so day. Yeah, it's, it's a ZZ Top kind of day, guys. Look at that. See how the colors are changing? The stew meat is in, the garlic, the onions. What's next? That's one 14 ounce, maybe a 16 ounce can of chili beans. And again, no liquid for me. I actually drained the liquid out. Here comes your red enchilada sauce. Everything at once, guys, right on in there. How about 28 ounces? Of crushed tomatoes. Some people use tomato sauce, good for you. I like, uh, you know, regular old crushed tomatoes. And he, finally, here comes our tomato paste. Let's do a, let's do a uh, sound effect for you. See if I can get this stuff out. Look at this. There you go. Would you like some more of that? Oh, oh, I ruined my Eddie Van Halen flag. That's all right. All right, good people. Stir, fold. And oh, look at this. This is going to be so good once it's folded in. And we're not done with the meat yet. We got more to go. Doesn't that look great so far? Are we turning it into Texas red? You got some Texas better not be getting on my case in the comments. I hope you're complimenting me. Oh my goodness. Look how that looks already. Here we go. Woo! There's your last two pounds, maybe two and a half pounds of meat. I don't know where that piece of cheese came from, although we may, hey, spoiler alert, we may use that later, okay? Last two pounds of meat. We get this moving around the ninja never stick pan. I love the shameless product placement I'm doing today for you. What do you think? Look at that guy. Gorgeous meat. And remember, one more time with that frag out flavor. It's called husky. It's taco seasoning. All around the top. And that's all you need. Let's get this stirring and fold it in. Oh my goodness, look at this. Got it all cooked out. Here goes the last of it. Is it gonna fit? Oh my goodness, live on the show right here. Is it gonna make it? It absolutely did make it right to the top. Fan freaking tastic. All right, now I'm gonna push this down. And this is how I wanted it, guys. All the way to the top like that. Just like that. All right, what comes next? You know what comes next. That rock and chili powder. Remember, mild chili powder. I cover the top. Ancho chili is coming next. Just a touch, not a lot. And then finally, we got our cumin. Really, really great flavors right here. You think I can fold this in? See if this works. Oh, hey, one trying to get away. All right, now while I'm doing this and folding a little bit here, there's a lot of people, like I said earlier, controversy about chili. How do you make it? How do other people make it? Some people would actually shoot me for putting beans in here. Some people like liquid. Um, I refuse to eat chili soup. It's just something I don't like. But um, as I'm going top to bottom here, um, some people would say, hey, will you dice up a jalapeno? Go for it. How about roasted green chilies, which I've done many times. I've even heard of a guy putting peanut butter in his chili. If you guys know about the peanut butter, you go right ahead. But as this folds in, it's time. Oh man, doesn't that look good? I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'll stir a little bit more. But guess what guys, timer is on and it sits for seven 
hours, stirring every once an hour, seven hours. Did you see that reveal? Did you like that super slow-mo reveal? Look what I'm doing, guys. It's been an hour, and look at that. See how the color has changed? Flavors are coming together. The tomato, the garlic, the onions, and of course this meat. The stew meat is already starting to get tender. This is exactly what you want after one hour, but guess what? Six more hours to go. I'm gonna stir one time an hour, come back to it. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. See you in six. And how about this, cool people? We are finally done seven hours in a crock pot. Check out the color, the consistency. Everything is completely done. That meat is falling completely apart. See the stew meat particles? I call them particles. Yeah, that's kind of funny. But everything went exactly as to plan. And this is exactly what you want it to look like when you're finished. I mean, that is just absolutely perfect. And you should smell this. All the flavors have come together. Everything that was in their seasoning has come together. It's just perfect. Let us begin to serve. So what are we gonna be serving up with? I got a big ladle right here. Gonna go into the old bowl. Oh man, this stuff looks fantastic, you guys. It's coming right over there, look at that. Just perfectly in the bowl. Mmm, looking good. Now what would you like? Different kinds of ways to serve. You put sour cream on yours, fantastic. You know what I put around mine? I put a whole bunch of these things right here. They're called Fritos. Look at that. Yo, that's not enough? Fine, I got, I got, hey, I got more Fritos. We'll put some more Fritos there. We can throw some on top. What else would you like? How about some cheese up there? Are you kidding? A little more green on top? Ah, you know I like to do that kind of stuff. And just a touch more of the old battle buddy. Can you even see it? Hey, you guys like all kinds of stuff on top of there? Go for it. Fantastic. Lots of ways to serve your chili. There's mine. And we are done for the day, good people. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can like and subscribe. That helps other people find the channel. Plus, you're not going to miss out on anything that we're going to be cooking later. And hey, guys, make sure you leave some comments because I know everybody loves different kinds of chili different ways of prepping it, making it, serving it, all that. Tell me what you think down there in the comments. And on behalf of me and ZZ Top, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it on the X. We will see you next time right here from the world's greatest chili.